God, I can't believe this financially successful cartoon that's popular among kids 8 to 11 is getting a theatrical movie. What the heck? Well, that is exactly what is happening because Warner Brothers, Warner Brother, WB, because the police are coming, have announced summer 2018 on June or wait, June or July. Hang on, let me read this article. Details. Oh, June 1st, June 1st, is the Teen Titans Go theatrical film for theaters. Oh, uh, yeah, this ain't no TV movie. This is theatrical. Yeah, because uh, the voice actors haven't, the voice actors linked to the article, like C Greg Sipes and uh, Tara Strong announced that they will be doing the voices for these characters and they're not going to be recasted, followed by making a Twitter rant on how they were recasted as these characters that have, that have existed long before they have. It's happening. But, you know, I, I know what you're all thinking, like, how could kids like this stuff? Well, let me just tell you, you're all becoming the adults that told you not to watch Ren and Stimpy or Cow and Chicken. You're all just a bunch of cynical ass adults who, <laughs> who will just like belittle and berate children all because they enjoy what they like. You ever, you know what you watched? You, you all act like, you, oh, you watched some high quality Citizen Kane crap when you were all kids. No, the only thing you, you all watch crap like Spy Kids and Dougal and freaking coconut fred or whatever not everything you watch as a kid was good the, you enjoyed it as a kid and then you grew to hate it as an adult the point is you if you like it as a kid you you better j just enjoy it you know what why, why, why should a kid just think oh i well this 20 something year old online doesn't like me to enjoy this movie i guess i'm not allowed to enjoy it i'm just a, in, a stupid idiot child no no screw you uh, <laughs> people who are gonna grow up to tell kids you can I watch this cartoon like you, you are all a bunch of you are the asshole parents that you hated growing up and that's what you'll become it is a freaking fact you know I mean if kid likes Teen Titans Go they'll like it and but you're all asking like the only reason Teen Titans Go is successful is because they play 24 hours on TV yeah because because that makes sense you know because like a heavily hyped show like let's say um or a heavily advertised show like uh, Mighty Magiswords or Adventure Time or whatever if, if, if the ratings start declining all they gotta do is play it on TV over and over and that means and kids will just watch it automatically because apparently kids are stupid they don't know how to change the channel. They don't have any iOS apps or internet or any other entertainment options or video games. The stuff that we didn't have growing up, you know? Kids are stupid. They can't change the channel. That's the only... That's how... It's almost like the show is successful, so they play it 24 hours, huh? It only... That's how it makes sense, you know? You know? But, but maybe you don't believe me that they... they Maybe you don't believe me. Maybe you believe your uh, your your theory that, huh? Cartoon Network just thought, huh? Let's pick this one cartoon. Uh, which one? Which random cartoon? Oh, Teen Titans Go. Let's play that 24 hours and let's make that our only successful show. You know that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Cause um, y y okay. You know, you ever notice that Cartoon Network does not care about WB shows? I ignoring Teen Titans Go, like before Teen Titans Go, stuff like Young Justice, Br Batman: Brave and the Bold, or your third-party cartoons like. Star Wars, The Clone Wars, they would air once a week and never again. You know why? I mean, no matter how successful, unless those shows are really successful, they, the, they have to play that episode and they have to pay Warner Brothers or LucasArts to play that episode too. So, you know, they have to split the money. But if it's a Cartoon Network original, like uh, OKKO, OK Steven Universe, they don't, that's their money. They get to keep all that to themselves and maybe they pay someone for the royalties to like some music or voice actors assuming anyone in animation gets royalties the animation industry screwed so yeah i mean it, teen titans go is so successful they're like okay we'll be willing to play this successful cartoon enough so that but we also had to play warner brothers so you know that tells you something you know that tells you how successful it is because it's not like they just choose a random cartoon and say okay this will be a success because that's how it works just say hey play something it'll be a success you know, that don't, that's not how things work, you friggin' moots. Yeah. So, 
you're all asking like how this is this is a disgrace to the original Teen Titans. Like first off, it's well, it's a comedy. Who cares? And you you all say like it's not a funny comedy. Well, duh, humor is subjective. Just because something's not funny to you doesn't mean it's not funny to anyone else, especially the kids. A kids show. I mean, when I review something, I don't say this isn't funny to me. It's so it's not funny to anyone else. I say it's not funny to me. A review is a based on an experience. I don't like something, and I'm the only one who doesn't like that. Someone else may agree. Someone else may disagree. But it's not like a you universal thing where it's like okay i as a 40 year old don't like it that mean you know as i as a 40 year old don't like it that means no one else who's 40 years old no one else is about to like it you know our review is based on experience someone who i mean let's let's look at freaking hardcore henry my one of my favorite movies it's a movie where it's like a first person shooter but in movie form and it's like me someone who played video games i'd appreciate that and i can understand why someone who doesn't enjoy video games or doesn't understand video games would not like that. I'm not gonna sit there and thinking like, hey, you're not allowed to enjoy it. You're not allowed to enjoy it. You're, un unless you fit in this criteria, you, wait, what am I saying? Wait, the point is, look, Someone, the point is, te someone likes Teen Titans Go. Someone else may hate, hate Teen Titans Go. But the people who like Teen Titans Go, the scenes who who like the Teen Titans Go, are freaking kids, the target demographic who are watching TV. Y you, you, oh, you, let me tell you about Invader Zim. Invader Zim appealed to like older audiences, and older audiences watched it. But the problem with that is, you they, that this skewed over the. The, 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 the commercials, you know, the commercials on TV that were playing, they, they appealed to little kids, but they, they, they got this show that appealed to adults or, or teens, but the teens aren't going to buy whatever's in the commercials. So they had to get like new advertisers to do things on that time slot. But the problem is no other show fits into that demographic. So you got this like weird zigzag effect of like skewing to different target demographics. So that's why Teen Titans Go, I mean, that's why Invader Zim was unsuccessful is because they had a the, the demographics kept shifting and it just it, it needs to every it, tv needs to appeal to one target demographic everything is screwed oh also because uh, uh invader zim was an expensive ass show i mean like the cg in that show was pretty impressive even today like there's some pretty good cell shading effects like just like futurama you know just like this was a pretty expensive show so that also uh, hindered it yeah so teen titans the movie that's happened. I, I was kind of hoping for a live-action Teen Titans Go movie, but uh, if they did do that, I'd be wondering, like, uh, what are they going to do about Cyborg since he's in the Justice League, and uh, would it follow the comics or the cartoon that most people are familiar with? Because I want the cartoon version, and I want to see Raven raging for some ass on the big screen. But yeah, pe pe some people are saying, like, wh why is... Uh, does, because they're making, why are they making the Teen Titans Go movie and not the, the Spongebob? No, not the Adventure Time movie. Well, because uh, Sp Sp Adventure Time is owned by Cards Network and Teen Titans Go is worn by Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers has their own distribution platform and Cartoon Network would have to use Warner Brothers Entertainment to make a movie with the help of them for distribution. So they had to split the money and after the after the Powerpuff Girls movie bombed, uh, Cartoon Network does not want to do uh, animation, animated movies for theaters. Everything's, I don't know. But yeah, really, I mean, the only people who cared about, anyone who cared about Adventure Time didn't care about Adventure Time, you know? Everyone who cared stopped watching Adventure Time and just went on to watch the Steven Universe because at least that has plot progression. So at least it does it better because in Adventure Time it seems like, hey, I'm Finn the Human. I lost my arm, and now it's back, and that's the whole show at Adve Adventure Time. It's just like nobody cares. Like I would want like maybe a some sort of reboot movie that just like is self-contained and tells a complete story with actual development instead of just like a TV show where it's just like, hey, um, he, uh, here's something and we got to go back to the status quo, you know? Yeah. You know, Adventure Time, it's Team and Titans to go, the movie. I, I'm excited. Like, I know people who work on this, but they didn't tell me. So it's like, damn, how dare they keep their secrets? Ugh. Hang on. Hang on. Hmm. Yeah, but you know, don't forget to like and subscribe. Your childhood was never good. I hate all of you.
leave the kids alone, let them watch what they watch. And you, you know, if I mean, it's you all ask like, hey, why don't they just air on aired more Steven Universe? You know, because because you know, uh, all the all these college kids who love Steven Universe, that you know, uh, they 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 watch on TV. No, most honestly, I think most college students who watch Steven Universe watch it on Daily Motion or some illegal streaming site or something. So you know, that's why. I mean, who, who's going to be watching Cartoon Network, the target demographic? That's, that's who's got time. Yeah, but you know, I hate all you. Bye. Goodbye, every pony. Bye.